Thank you, great people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you so much, Edo citizen. I appreciate you all. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for putting an end to Godfatherism. Thank you for placing Adam Oshomole to where he belongs. Most of all, most of all, thank you, Edo people, for rejecting Tinubu and his bully of man. Thank you for disgracing Tinubu. Thank you for putting an end to his Godfatherism. No man truly is God. Tinubu thought he can have whatever he wants in Nigeria. He thought he can sit in Lagos and command what happened in the 36 states of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. No, it is not so, my dear. No, it is not so, Senator Asiwajibola Ahmed Tinubu. You see, the Bible said he gives grace to the humble. You, because you are not humble, God has abased you. God brought you to your lowness. God brought you, brought you to your news. You think money can do everything? Money cannot buy conscience. Money cannot buy conscience. Money cannot change the time that God has ordained. When God by himself said, God will not basaki will rule a those state, God did not consult anybody. When God said he's going to make him the governor for second tenor, he did not consult anybody. God took that decision alone. And because he took the decision, no man born of a woman, no man, no woman also born of a man or conceived by a woman can put an end to what God has said. You sat in Lagos, traveled all various states of APC, mobilized all resources to ensure that God's mandate, that God's mandate on those states is brought down. But God sat in the heavens and he laughed at you. He laughed at you because he knows that just with the tip of his finger, he can have you off. But what happened? You mobilized all your men. You mobilized all your resources. You brought all your money. You even drove your bullion van to a door state again. Right. But what did God do? God abased you. God abased you. He disgraced you and your cohorts. Isn't it clear that your time and your reign of impunity in Nigeria is over? Isn't it clear to you, Senator Bolame Tinubu, that your time of stealing the people's resources is over? That your glorified self is being brought down by the God of heaven? Isn't it clear? Adam Sosomole, where are you? How the market go down? Where are you? I will bring him down. I will do this. I will do that. God just smiled. God smiled. And see how God humbled you? See how God humbled you? 18 local government, you could not even score nine. God abased you. God brought you down. Even the five local government that your party managed to have, go and see. It was very, very close. It was an escape route. But in the end of it, in the end of it, God spoke through Edo people. God used Edo people to save his own mandate. God used Edo people to say, no, my son will continue this journey. Until I say it ends, it never ends. And truly, no man is God. No man is God. Gandhu J, where are you? Gandhu J, shame unto you. Shame unto you. With all the stolen dollar, with all the nairas you heaped, with all the gallam of gold that you people stuck thousands and thousands and millions of millions into and brought to a door state, as if you are coming to buy a people who have resolved in their mind to change their own fortune by themselves. You thought this was going to work? How did it go? How did it go? Oh my God, where is the Supreme Court Governor? Oh, Puzodima, you are disappointed, right? You have not seen anything yet. I want you to mark today's down, Oh, Puzodima, you are going to leave that seat. You will not end your tenure as governor. You will not end four years. You come to a door state to challenge God's mandate, God in heaven will make sure he put an end to your tenor. I am assuring you tonight. I am assuring you tonight. Go and put me down. My name is Omar Bume, Bob Manuel Umoru. I am assuring you under heaven, by the anointing of God upon my life, I am telling you that you will not end four years in office. God is going to remove you. God is going to remove you. Uh-huh. Chasara where are you? Isn't it shameful? You went to pitch church to Somale? Where is Odubu? If Osomole loves you so much, you were his deputy. Why didn't he project you to be governor? You sheepishly like a child followed him. 
You followed him because you are now a puppet. I see how you were disgraced. And let me not forget, where is Pastor Osage Izeyamu? Oga, how market? Even your own local government people, your own people rejected you. You see, it's a clear fact. When the people begin to reject you, when the people begin to reject your antics, when the people begin to understand your schemes, and they begin to understand how you permutate, it means that God is true with you. God is ready to deal with you. I am not surprised how the result of a dirty tone. I am not surprised. I knew from the very beginning that God will not disappoint himself, that God will not turn back on his words. And that was why God particularly stood for Godwin Obaseki. God used PDP. He used the umbrella to shield his son. The biggest mistake you can ever do to any man is when the man is in your house, you chase him out in the rainy season. And once he's getting out of your door and he meets a man with umbrella outside, be sure that man is already under a safe haven. He's in safe hands because the rain will not sweep him away. Because the rain will not sweep him away. And that was what happened to Governor Gobi Nobaseki. In the time you chased him away, God offered him the biggest umbrella in Africa, the biggest umbrella in the universe, the umbrella of progress, the umbrella of development. That was what God gave to him. The umbrella that can complement his vision. That was what God gave to him. And you can see clearly, you can see clearly, the difference is clear. The difference is clear. Good people of Nigeria, particularly the youth, don't be scared. I want to tell you tonight, I want to tell you tonight with all my heart that the reign of Tinubu in Nigeria is over. The reign of Tinubu in Nigeria is over. A time for change has come. The change I'm talking about is not the APC change. I'm talking of total transformation. And in total transformation, God is going to weed off a lot of things. And Tinubu is one of those that God is going to weed off our political system. Tinubu is one of those that God is going to take care of by himself. His time is up. He has punctured Lagos economy enough. He has stolen enough from Lagos alone. In, uh, 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 from Lagos alone. Not to talk more of what is stealing from Nigeria. His time is up. His time is up. His time is up. I want to assure you tonight that come 2023, Tinubu will not be relevant in Nigeria politics. 2023 is too far. Before the end of this year, God is going to water down his importance. God is going to water down his power. I want you to understand clearly that this Nigerian project is now in God's hands. Youth, stand up. Stand up and fight for what is right. Don't be scared of anybody. Nobody can take your life. Only God owns your life. Stand up like Nelson Mandela. Let us fight for freedom. Let us fight for economic emancipation. Let us fight for the advancement of our land. We have been too long docile. We have been too long under oppression. The time for freedom is now. Youth arise. Don't be scared. The life, if a dope people could puncture Tinubu, if they could puncture his pride, if they could abase him, then we, together, when we rise in unity, we can stand anybody. You see, the main president, Tolusha Ambassador, warned us about years ago. They are the very people now who are destroying this economy. If only we had listened to him. He warned us about Adam Soshomole. We did not listen. When Oshomole was the labor president and he was forming to be fighting president, Tolusha Ambassador, the old man in his wisdom laughed because he knows who he is. He has dealt with his kind. The same thing happened when Asiwa Jibola Tinubu was governor. And because the way he was embezzling Lagos fund, the president wasn't too okay with it. President Tunisia Kobasanjo wasn't okay with it. You see him, he said uh, he went to open, uh, started creating local government, say local government, uh, Lagos Developing Council, and all, all their schemes to embezzle money. And President Obasanjo, in his wisdom, saw it. I want to say a very big thank you to all persons who have played key role in ensuring free, fair, credible, and in fact, a near perfect gubernatorial election in Edo State. Edo election is a pointer. Edo election is a pace setter. Watch out for Ondo election. I pray that God sustain this change for us. INEC, you did well in Edo State. Please don't obtain the vote of the people in Ondo State. Ondo is on the verge of redemption, just as Edo has been redeemed from Godfatherism. Clearly, this Godfather has been watered down. We must put ourselves together and achieve this feat. We must move Nigeria to the next El Dorado. Isn't it painful and shameful 
that our country is still backward. We have 49 mineral resources, 49 discovered mineral resources. Painful to note that none of our mineral resources has been harnessed to 5%. Mineral resources that will set our nation on the pedestal of prosperity, that all our citizens will be rich. But what is happening? Because we are bringing in incompetent people, our economy is at a standstill. Because we allow people with greedy mindset, people who are selfish, people who are callous, people who are mammals, people who are not sound, people who lack character, people like Bola Ahmed Tinubu, because we allow them to dictate what happens in the nation. And that is why we are still here we are to today. But for us to move forward, youths, join me. I challenge you, join me. Let us take this, uh, this bold step to redeem our nation. Let us take the bull by the horn. I tell you, no man is more Nigerian than any other Nigerian in the words of Senator Dino Melai. God bless him. Let us rise up and take this bull by its horn. Let us redeem our nation. Let us stand up. Let not the labor of our heroes past be in vain. I beg you, Nigerian youths. I beg you. A dose state is a statement. If we could make it in a dose state, then delivering Nigeria and rescuing her from oppression is not going to be is, is not going to be a difficult task. All we need to do is come to the consciousness that our people need us. Let posterity remember us for good things. Today we remember Martin Luther King. Today we remember Nelson Mandela. Today we remember Olusha uh, Gumabasajo. Uh, Today we remember Obafemi Awolowo. Today we remember Zik of Africa. Today we remember Tafawa Balogun. And, uh, uh, sorry, Tafawa Balewa, not Tafawa Balogun, Tafawa Balewa. Today we remember all these great men for the positive impact they have made. We also will not forget Julius in Yerere of Tanzania. Let us rise up like this man. Let us rescue this nation. Let us rescue this nation. 50 million of Tinubu cannot withstand the change that is coming because when God is said to move a people forward, no man can stop him. If Pharaoh could not stop the children of Israel, then Tinubu and his greedy groups cannot stop us. All we need to do is come together under one umbrella and move forward. I am not calling for a bloody revolution. I am not calling for revolution. I am calling for emancipation. I am calling for you to change your mind. Emancipate yourself from mental slavery. I want to appreciate you. I took a very good statistics and I discovered in the build up to Edo State uh, election, the rate at which Nigerian youth went after BB Niger reduced because all attention came to the consciousness that we must reduce the power of the Godfather. Good enough, Senator Paul Ahmed Tinubu ran away from Edo State, abandoning his bullion van. The bullion van he came with on, on Friday uh, night. He abandoned it because the tire was punctured, it couldn't move again. Definitely, it has, uh, I know it's, it's going to become a scrap in those state. He has other bullion van, but everything has been punctured. When God is set to create a change, nobody can stop him. Let us rise up, my people. Let us rise up. Let us rise up. Thank you, our brothers and sisters in diaspora. You've been awesome. God bless you all. God bless you all. Edo is in safe hands. Edo is in safe hands. Edo is in safe hands. Let's move Nigeria forward. Let's move Nigeria forward. Let us rise against Tinubu and Co. Let us put them to where they belong. In this, we will be able to stand and make both statements to our children that we fought for the advancement of democracy. You would ask, why am I on this t-shirt again? This t-shirt, thank you so much, Honorable Osilama Okofu. Thank you so much, Honorable Aki Aneni. Thank you, Sister Jan. It's, it's, I take uh, I tame lions and tiger project. I was made the ambassador of this project. You see, we have tamed Godfathers, and I put on this shirt to remind Senator Bola Ahmed Tinubu that I told him we are going to tame him, and we have tamed him. No more Godfatherism in Nigeria. No more Godfatherism in Edo State. We are free and free from your claws. Keep your money. The little ones you have stolen, keep it. But I assure you, you are going to pay. God will make you pay. We have tamed them. Tinubu, Bola Ahmed, Tinubu, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, I am coming to tame you. I will tame you. Nigerian youth will join me. We will tame you. Your dictatorial tendency has been tamed. Your stealing tendency has been tamed. We are liberating our economy from your hands and your greedy set of people. Shame on all of you. Shame. Shame. 2012, you are shouting, save Nigeria group. 
Look, at now that Nigeria needs to be saved, all of you ran away. Moving from kitchen to kitchen, stealing our money, using bullion van to pack them. We are now set to put everything in order. Thank you, everybody. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And I leave you with this. Tinubu, shame unto you. All power belong to Jesus. Osomole, shame unto you. All power belong to Jesus. Captain Osa, shame unto you. All power belong to Jesus. APC, shame unto you. All power belongs to Jesus. No man is God. Nigerian youths, join me. Let's move this nation forward. Join me. Let's move this nation forward. Take this video, send it out, put hope in the life of our people, tell them a new dawn has come. If we have end God fatalism, a new dawn has come. I remain Bob Manuel. My name is Omo Bume. Omo Bume. Bob Manuel Umoru. I am the Publicity Secretary of Achievers Grassroots Initiative, AGI. And by the special grace of God, I am the adjusted coordinator of PDP mobilizers. So, Nigeria is moving forward. I wouldn't want you to miss this chariot. Join this chariot and let's go forward together. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. The era of Tinubu, Oshomole, and all other Godfather is over. Now a new dawn has come. I've been to the mountaintop. I've seen the new dawn. Join this chariot. Let's go together. God bless you.